Hey everyone, Justin from Core Performance here with a setup and instruction video for our all new Iceplate XO. This is going to be pretty familiar for a lot of you as the new Iceplate XO is not so much a complete ground up redesign as it is an evolution and a refinement of what we already felt was a very solid design. And we just made a couple of tweaks that customers had asked us to do. Um, one of them was to revise the cummerbund, get rid of the quick releases, and substitute in a Velcro closure. And that we did because a lot of our military customers wanted the ability to run two radios. We also made a number of other fine adjustments and evolutions that you're gonna see throughout this video, where we just kind of took some capabilities that were in the original Iceplate Exo design and kind of smoothed the corners, if you will. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's get to what's included. First, we have one front and rear plate bag set with shoulder shrouds. We have two ice fence aero shoulder pads with 48 inches of one wrap. We have two ice fence classic ventilation pontoons, one QHEX IR patch, not color matched, one Molly placard, super cool, we're gonna get to that in a minute, two swift clips, everybody's familiar with those, two sizzle sticks with 48 inches of shock cord, super awesome, can't wait to show you guys that. And last but not least, we have a Molly Cummerbund with 48 inches of one wrap or two side straps, depending on which option you selected. Okay, so let's get into what's new. The first thing that is the most significant change and update that we made to Iceplate Exo Gen 2 is the all new sizzle stick system. Some of you may have seen the sizzle stick system with Iceplate Exo CRH, and you're probably asking, well, what is sizzle sticks? What are sizzle sticks? Sizzle sticks are exactly like they sound. It's basically a super strong stick that we have uh, different ports in, and those ports allow you to pass shock cord through them, which allows you to connect your Molly Cummerbund strands. It also allows you to connect your side straps. So you have two different options of uh, side closure mechanism. So on the side of Iceplate Exo, we also have these lateral apertures. And these things are super cool because not only are they what facilitate the functionality of the sizzle sticks, but they also allow Iceplate Exo to be compatible with pretty much anybody's Molly style two or three strand cummerbund on the market today. That includes the Arc Cummerbund V2 by Shaw Concepts. It also includes Cry Precision Airlight SPC Cummerbund and really just about, again, any two or three strand Molly Cummerbund on the market will work with Iceplate Exo. Next up, we increased the Molly and the Velcro loop field on the world face of the rear plate bag. So we did away with those little cutouts that we had before and we increased the Velcro loop field so that we got stronger purchase when you put IMS Pro on the outside for external hard cell hydration only. Uh, we also did the same thing on the inside that we'll show you in a bit so you get a uh, stronger purchase again of IMS Pro when you want to take advantage of the conductive thermoregulation with hydration. Uh, that same principle obviously applies to the Molly as well. Finally, you can see that we removed the rear drag handle. Uh, we put a lot of thought into that and we basically just realized that rear drag handles, all they really were were a snag hazard. Everybody kind of goes for the shoulder straps anyway because everybody knows where shoulder straps are. They're a constant on every plate carrier in the world. That said, if you do have to use a drag handle, I think it's a, a widely accepted best practice now that using the Darcy handle or the Darcy strap and lacing it through the molly on the back of your plate bag is really the superior way to pull somebody out if you have to use a drag strap or a drag handle. But really, the shoulder straps are kind of what most everybody does anyway and instinctively because, uh, as our friend Buck says, monkey brain. Okay, going to the front plate bag, the new changes that we made start around the molly placard. And the molly placard is exactly what it sounds like. It's super simple and it is designed to facilitate the use and the function of the molly cummerbund. It's very, very simple, and it also allows you to add Blue Force gear pouches uh, in your cart uh, on the Iceplate Exo product page so that you can have a turnkey carrier with the pouches that we run and we recommend for use with Iceplate Exo. As for the Molly Placard itself, you can see it has these little tabs here that allow you to attach um, side release buckles, split bar side release buckles, so that the Molly Placard itself can actually be run as a chest rig standalone when you put ice fence uh, classic chest rig pontoons on the back. Uh, the Molly Placard can also be run, it, is, it comes with swift clips, but you can switch these out 
very easily to G hooks should you want to. And that is the Molly Placard. Going to the inside of the plate bags now, we can see that this is one of the most exciting new features that we put on Ice Plate XO, and it is this Ice Vents Classic Ventilation Pontoon specific loop field. So you can see we put big, big cuts in here with big, strong bridges to be able to preserve the strength, but also provide an unbelievable amount of ventilation and drainage that is specifically sized to Ice Fence Classic Ventilation Pontoons for that maximum standoff, maximum breathability, and extraordinary comfort when wearing plates. The other cool thing that even though we designed and shaped these loop fields so that you can run Ice Fence Classic Ventilation Pontoons vertical, you can also angle them if you want to. Really, any angle that you desire uh, can be accommodated. This is personally how I like to run mine with the bottom corner at the edge of the plate bag and then with the top corner kind of aligned with the center ventilation channels and it's super super comfortable but really do whatever you want uh, that is a quick overview of the ice fence classic ventilation pontoon loop fields on the inside of the front plate bag all right on to setup so first we're going to start with the sizzle sticks these things are totally awesome but they're super super easy to set up even though they provide an unbelievable amount of adjustability so the sizzle sticks, to set these things up, first we're gonna grab the 48 inches of shock cord that came with your ice plate XO. And we're gonna cut that 48 inches of shock cord into 12 inch sections. So all you need are two 12 inch sections of shock cord, one for each sizzle stick. And then you're gonna grab a sizzle stick and you're gonna do this to it. You're going to tie one end of the shock cord with just a really simple knot. And then you're going to lace it through like this Okay, and then on the other end, you're going to tie it like this. We're going to spare you guys the super fast forward. We're just going to hold this here so that if you want to pause your screen, you can, and then you can just copy this, and uh, any knot that is secure will kind of do. If you want, you can also burn the tips. You do not have to leave the ends this long. We just left them this long so you could see it on camera, but feel free to cut them a little bit shorter. You don't want to get too short or else it could uh, come undone, so you want to leave you know, maybe a quarter inch, uh, maybe an eighth of an inch uh, uh, there just so that you make sure you have enough security. And then once you have your sizzle stick in this configuration, now you are ready to uh, prepare your Molly Cummerbund. So you're going to put the sizzle stick inside your rear plate bag like shown on screen. And then what you're going to do is you are going to lace your Molly Cummerbund through your shock cord loops on the outside. Now, I happen to be a 40 inch chest, uh, Phil is about a 40 inch chest, and both of us run Ice Plate XO with three overlapping strands, okay, like this, and then thanks to the adjustability of the Molly Cummerbund closure, this works, and thanks also to, of course, the stretch provided by the sizzle stick, then you are good whether you are running IMS Pro on the inside or IMS Pro on the outside. Now, once you have the Molly Cummerbund laced through the shock cord, and again, you can adjust using your slack. You can make these loops larger if you want more stretch, or you can make them smaller if you want less stretch. Now, once you have the Molly Cummerbund strands laced through, you're just going to send them through each other like this. It's kind of hard to show on camera, but you guys will get the idea. And now that one wrap completes the cycle. We're just going to do that two more times. You want to make sure that your Molly Cummerbund is done and set up with the Molly strands on the inside of the Cummerbund facing your body so that the outside of your plate carrier is totally slick. Now we're just going to do one more section. Okay, there you have it, Molly Cumberbund, all set up. So that wraps up our Ice Plate XO instruction and setup video. We hope you guys found this really helpful, but as always, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments below, or you can email us, info at coreperformance.com. Info is on the screen right here. Uh, if you guys found this really helpful, which we hope you did, then we would greatly appreciate it if you could smash that like button, turn on your notifications, 
and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Those things are actually a tremendous help for us because what they do is they let us help you get what you need by getting that content to you guys with uh, proper notifications uh, that are timely. And believe it or not, actually, it's harder to get that information to you guys without those subscriptions and notifications uh, because of the way that YouTube works. So really appreciate that. As always, thanks so much. Catch you guys next time. Stay frosty.